sleep again, fiddle. This will never do. Everyone else has finished their work and gone home hours ago. You're still three short of your daily quota. This is not good enough, fiddle. <laughs> uh, sorry, Mr. Dullsworth. Uh, I'll get those seen to right at once. Let yourself out when you're done. I shall be in my office attending to business, and I don't want to be disturbed. Yes, Mr. Dullsworth. Someone is calling me? At this hour? Hello? Mr. Fuddle? Mr. Beltram Fuddle? Yes, but it's actually Bertram Fiddle. It's close enough, Mr. Fuddle. This is Mr. Dullsworth's mother. I'm calling you because I hear you have some detectivating experience. Well, yes, I do have a certain reputation for sleuthfulness. Very good. I need someone to do some investigating for me. And as I've been unable to get hold of the esteemed Mr. Holmes, you will have to suffice. Um, certainly, madam. Let me be brief, Mr. Fiddle. My son has been acting most peculiar recently. Find out what he is up to and report back to my house immediately. Good gracious. This seems like the beginning of an adventure. I must finish my work here as quickly as possible. I'll put this in my pocket until I want to use it. Telegram circuits on. Fuse capacitator fusing. Time to sell some soap. Hmm. Who seems like a suitable customer? Hello, who is this? Hello, sir. I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company with an exclusive offer just for you. Really? Just for me? How delightful. Yes, yes it is. For a limited period only, we are offering you a free flannel with every bar of adequate soap you buy. A free flannel, you say? Ooh, wonderful. I'll take one, please. Really? I mean, excellent. I shall have those dispatched to you right away. Yes? Greetings. I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company with an exclusive offer. Go on. Would you be interested in a bar of our new, even more adequate soap? Whatever for? Well, it is very good for cleaning. Does it remove stubborn stains, like blood, for example? Um, probably. Oh, well then. I'll take five, no, six packets right away. Ooh. Jolly good. Greetings, madam. I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company. Would you like to buy some soap? What flavour? Flavour? Um, sort of cleany, flowery? I love soup. I'll buy some. Sorry, madam. I think you misheard me. I said soap, not soup. Oh, that is a shame. I really wanted to buy some soup. Well, this soap does make a tasty broth. It does? Then I'll buy a packet. Thank you. Jolly good. <clears throat> At last, my work is done. I need Mr. Dullsworth to stamp my work ticket. Mr. Dullsworth? Mr. Dullsworth? Wherever could he be? 
I never saw him leave. Mrs. Dalsworth was right. He is up to something. A witty motivational painting. Wait, there's something behind it. It's an Emerson and Burke safety safe. Solid as a rock. What a tidy desk. Mr. Dullsworth's work diary. So this is what he does in here all day. Turn that frown upside down. I wonder if something is bothering him. Ooh, red ink. What a tidy desk. Aha! Now I am legitimized. Good evening, Mr. Fiddles. Working late again. That lovely wife of yours must be very proud. Indeed she is, Mr. Tibbs. But this is merely a short-term position until I find myself a suitable adventure. Of course, sir. I understand. I actually am an author. Romance novels is my thing. This job is merely to pay the bills until I get myself a publishing deal. Good for you, Tibbs. Now, if you will open the gate, I'll be off. I'm afraid you can't leave until you've finished your work. A pleasant and uneventful evening to you, Mr. Fiddles. I must find Mrs. Dalsworth's house and report my findings to her. The Dalsworth estate is at the top of Tormentley Hill, if I recall correctly. Bertram, over here! Evelina! Fancy seeing you here! How are you? I've not seen you for such a time. Off having fantastic adventurings, no doubt. Um, not exactly. I, um, uh, how are you? Have you been busy? Not at all, Bertram. There is so little news to report upon nowadays. Since all those dreadful murderings stopped, I've had nothing to do. I'd really hoped that the Jeff the Murderer story would make my name as an independent investigative journalist. But it's been so quiet recently. Even Sherlock Holmes has gone away on an extended holiday. I hope something newsworthy happens soon, or I may be forced to make my own headlines. I'm almost tempted to murder someone myself, just for something to write about. Ah. I'm uh, currently investigating a case for Mrs. Dalsworth. It's nothing much, but I'm hoping it may turn into some sort of fantastical adventure. Dalsworth, eh? Here's a name I've not heard in a while. I know a few things about old squeaky clean Dalsworth that would shock the likes of you. Really, madam? Do you mind? Oh, la di da Does your lady friend want some flowers? Oh, no. She isn't my... I mean, I mean I'm not her... The, the, no, thank you, madam. I'm not a flowery person. Suit yourself. I'm going away for a few days. There is something very important I need to do. Off somewhere nice, are you? I shan't tell you any more. It is too complicated.
a rather bleak and sinister alley. I have an appointment with Mrs. Dullsworth. I can't hear you. There must be a fault on the line. Can you hear me? Nod if you can hear me. Yes, I can hear you. Very much so. Those vulgar messages are an eyesore. I'm not letting you in until I know who you are. I ham, bird, tram, fig, dull. Ah, so you are Bertram Fiddle. Why didn't you say so? You're late. The Dullsworth Estate looks like they've cleaned up with their soap business. They must have made a packet. How do you do, ma'am? You're late, Mr. Fiddle. I've been watching your dilly-dallyings. It is the sign of a simple mind. That was no dilly-dallying. That was top-quality investigative strolling you witnessed. He has a weak mind, Mr. Fiddle, and is easily led astray. Lately, he has a crazy look in his eyes. I've seen it before, and know he is up to something. I only have his best interests at heart. I need to know what he is doing. Didn't you find anything suspicious? No, nothing at all. I'm sure your son has nothing to hide. You are either lying or a fool, Mr. Fiddle. Which is it? There was nothing of significance in his office, but I will continue my inquirements. I'll be off then. If I uncover any more news, I'll be sure to let you know. I will leave no stone unprobed. Make sure you do. I'm only trying to protect him, Mr. Fiddle. A mother is a boy's best friend, Mr. Fiddle. Goodness me, it's you! Here I am. <laughs> oh my! Um, don't move, I'll get help. Well, well, well. Fiddle, I must admit you had me fooled. I never would have suspected you were Jeff the Murderer. Sherlock, what are you doing here? I thought you were on holiday. I just got back, and it's lucky I did, you despicable fiend. But Sherlock, it wasn't me. How could you think that? Well, let me see. Let's look at the evidence. There's a dead body, and there's you. You're quite mistaken. I saw Jeff run off in that direction. It's a shame there aren't any witnesses to back up your ludicrous story. You, madam, did you see what happened? Indeed I did, Mr. Holmes. I heard a scream and looked out my window and saw that man standing over that poor dead lady. Well, thank you, nosy old crone. <laughs> That's all the proof we need. Sherlock, you can't honestly think it was Bertram. Look murderous footprints leading right to that wall. Take him to Jail Street. Right you are, sir. But it wasn't me. I'm innocent. <laughs> if I had a penny for every time I've heard that one, Fiddle. <laughs> Take him to jail. 
<laughs> Looks like you won't be winning any wages now, Fiddle. Something doesn't smell quite right, Sherlock. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Watson, you have to believe me. I'm not Jeff. I know, Bertram. I know. Send for Gavin. Tell him I need help. Of course. Hold tight, Bertie. Oh, shush, Watson. Welcome to your new home, you terrible, terrible man. Unhand me, you oaf! Don't you know who I am? Jeff the murderer, by all accounts. Nonsense! I have been framed! I'm innocent! Oh, everyone who comes in here is innocent. Makes no difference to me. Oh my! What shall I do? I've got to get out of here! Um, hello, cellmate. What are you in for? My name is Walter, and my only crime is being an artiste. Oh, that's quite harsh. I'll say, sitting in here, unable to paint, it's sapping me of my will to live. Without my paints, I'm nothing. Do not give up hope. Gavin, my one-eyed manservant, will help. Your positivity is upsetting me. Leave me to my gloom. Mr. Fidel! Ew. One toothbrush between the three of us? That's not very hygienic. What? We've been locked in here for a long time. This pipe is loose. Ugh. Such vivid colours. Innocent. I demand to be let out. You ain't going anywhere, you fiend. Here's your supper. <gasps> this gravy is a strange colour. It really isn't to my palate. It won't bite me now. It's a pile of red powder. Look how red it is! This blanket is rough as canvas! Sir, are you in there? Oh, Gavin! Have you come to rescue me? Don't worry, sir. I'll get you out as soon as I can. If you have anything I can use, throw it through the window. What are you up to? I'm not going to let you do anything while I'm standing here! What is that? That quick drying cement is wonderful. Turns rock hard before you know it. I reckon I've filled enough holes now. Just gonna sit here and wait for the clock to strike so I can go home. Soon as that bell rings, I'm off. If I can make a bell ring, he can go home. Help me? Can't you see I'm busy? My fancy stitching contraption is broken and needs a new spinny wheel thingy. But I've got no idea where to get one.
流。That's some powerful whisking. I should be whisking for hours to get this mix the right consistency. I'm far too busy whisking to talk. It's how I keep my batter so smooth and creamy. Mmm, very Moorish. Yes, they are. They're so good, I know you'll want to stay for more. Once you try, you can't say goodbye. The hotter the oven, the bigger the bread. I cement to do that. Don't be twiddling nose. You'll ruin my bakery. Don't make me come over there. What's happened to my batter? It's all gone wrong! This whisk is pointless! Take the cake. Well, I shouldn't really eat on duty, but one little bite can't hurt. Mmm, that is delicious. Where did you get that from? Aunt Fanny is giving it away at the cakery. Really? I've got to have another. Can you just keep an eye out for me? I'll be back in a jiffy. Ah, he's gone at last. Now I can help Mr. Fidel. Mr. Fidel! If you have anything I can use, throw it through the window. We have a saying in Peru, a flower a day keeps the gloom away.
Look at the size of your hole. I've hit rock bottom. That is a hefty stone. I've hit rock bottom. He looks good at feeling holes. The squirrel is going nuts. Oh, Gavin, your foraging never ceases to amaze. Such vibrant colors. I can feel my desire to paint growing. But what is the use without a brush? But how can one make art in such dismal surroundings? You're so needy. Just paint what you see. Yes, you are right. This shall be my masterpiece. Walter, you look much happier now. I feel fully reinvigorated. Thank you, Bertram. Just a little something my friend Oscar gave me for safekeeping. Excuse me, sir. You are blocking my progress. I am going to cause an obstructification until Walter is happy. I shan't let anyone past. Oh, Walter is all right. I can cease being so demonstratorly. And now, like a fig, I must roll. Why have you only got one eye? I am a cyclops. I'm bored. Will you play hoops with me? I just want somebody to play hoops with me. Hooray! Do it again!
Phew, now I'm hot. I want an ice cream. We have a thing in Peru. A heavy stone will sink the swiftest fish. Cry like a little girl. Here, have another. Crikey, I can see her lady ankles. Shh, I've been trying to rub it off for ages. I'm exhausted. This limp cloth will not get in those cracks. I need something stiffer. I have a little brush. Oh, thank you. That's just what I need. I'll be finished in no time. All finished. I'm going for a lie down now. See you later. He's a good job. I have deep pockets. I think Mr. Fito's membership has expired. As long as I don't cause a disturbance, maybe no one will notice me. What are you doing? The trophy heads aren't scheduled to be cleaned until Tuesday. I, uh, thought I could do it early. Not whilst I'm on watch. I will never get the horn with him watching. Just breaking into a canter! No biggie! <laughs> so you're going at quite a gallop now, guy. Melvis! Turn it off! It's gone haywire! <clears throat> That's it, Gavin! Drill like you've never drilled before!
Quick, Gavin! Let's make good our escape before the guards notice! Oh, we're surrounded. Quick, Mr. Fidel. Into the sewers. Ugh, really? Quickly, Gavin! We need to escape! Quick! They've made off down the sewer rings! After them! We'll flush them out! Ugh, I'm stuck! Go round the other way! I'll block this path! We're trapped! Like rats. And now to nimbly scuttle across. Gavin, you plank, quick! What's that creaking sound? He's not going to hold, sir. Luckily, this rubble broke my fall. Oh, Gavin, who would have believed that I, Bertram Fiddle, leading Victorian explorator, would be a fugitive from the law and accused of being Jeff the murderer? We've been in some scrapes, eh, Gavin? But hiding in the sewers is certainly a low point. Maybe Werther was right. Adventuring is a waste of time. We have a saying in Peru, you cannot lock up the wind. Are we doomed to die here? I think not. Not like this. Watch those steam jets, Gavin. They could have your eye out. There is a great number of them, sir. Hmm, a code is needed. It appears we've been given a free steam key. Which way now? Find a way out, sir. I will stand guard here. It's all wet and slippy. That's got it. At your service. I'm quite sure I loosened it for you, Gavin. Ah, Fiddle! Fancy seeing you down here! What are you doing down here? 
down here. I'm just on one of my perambulations. I've heard there's been another murder. Is it true, Fiddle? It wasn't me, I assure you. It's most peculiar, but whenever we meet a tragedy has befallen someone, don't you think? What do you mean? What's that noise? Have the police ventured down here? My, my, they must really be after you. You can't hide down here forever, Fiddle. Remember, things are not always what they seem, Fiddle. Fiddle, I thought you'd been arrested. I've just escaped. You have to believe me. I'm innocent. We've all murdered people, Fiddle. The trick is to be rich enough so you can get away with it. Lord Arthwipe, it wasn't me. I was framed. Ha 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 ha. Whenever I do something despicable, I like to get away for a few days until it all blows over. Go and stay with my cousin Lord Wretchedly in the country. No one will find you there. There will be a train leaving from the station soon. Make sure you get on it. I'll let him know you're coming. Oh, thank you, Lord Arthwipe. I knew you wouldn't desert me in my hour of need. Ha 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 ha. Think nothing of it, Fiddle. You need to disguise your appearance, Fiddle. Come into my parlor, said the spider to the fly. Ha 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 ha. Try one of those on for size. Oh, yes. That suits you. That really does. No one will recognize you now. They're a little tight. Good luck, Fiddle. <laughs> You're going to need it. Oh, that looks handy. That's my lucky monkey paw. I won it from the Maharaja just after his house burnt down. Do you want it, Fiddle? You could do with some luck. <laughs> Take it. I insist. Thank you, Your Lordship. Is there anything I can do in return? I'm sure I'll think of something. We must get into the station or we will miss our train. Can't you hurry up, woman? I'm in a dreadful hurry. I told you already. My sewing wheel is broken. Whatever were you doing to get them so torn up? How long does it take to mend a pair of gloves? I really am awfully frustrated. I really hope this works. You've fixed it! Now I'll be finished in no time! Here you go, mister! As good as new! You are blocking my path, sir. I need to meet my wife and children. Sorry, sir! I've just got to carefully manoeuvre my car through this narrow passage. I can't take it anymore. Out of my way. My oranges! My lovely orangey oranges! Oh, my beautiful oranges! Look what you've done! You're all squished there!
a DIY sausage machine. Hmm, what's this stretchy sack-like thing? That, my good man, is a donkey bladder. Eeyaw! Take it. It would be an awful shame to waste it. Oh, I do make myself chuckle. Hello, madam. Allow me to introduce myself. Mr. Lawrence, gentleman butcher and purveyor of inexplicable ham. At your service. Pleased to meet you. Meet to please you. Hello? Yes. They are here. All plump and ready for chopping up. You can come and collect them any time you like. What a grisly character. We must get into the station or we will miss our train. Do you like sausages? Sausage! Pendleton? No, bad dog. Drop that sausage, Pendleton! Nine hundred and eighty five, nine hundred and eighty six, nine hundred and eighty seven. Oh, you made me jump. <laughs> I'll be with you shortly. I'm just finishing this hard as iron gobstopper display. I'll be with you as soon as I finish this highly unstable pyramid. Can we have some candy, Mother? We promise to be good. I'm sorry, do I know you? He's the man who tricked us! The man who fed us spider webs! From a toilet brush! We've been undisguised! See? We told you it was him! And he's the one who's been doing all the naughty murderings, Mother! Good, good, darlings. I'm sure he's forgiven you. We should lock him in a cage! Such shrewd children. Popsy Daisy. Oh, balloon! Oh, my giddy goodness. Look what you've made me do. Now I shall have to start over again. Wilfred, Willisant, what did I tell you about misbehaving? But, but it, it wasn't, wasn't us, Mother! That's it! It's the naughty cupboard for you both! And neither of you should be getting any sweeties! We will remember this! We have a very particular set of skills! We will find you! Careful not to slip on those. You could lose your bearings. An earthenware pot full of switches and knobs. Why, you could say it was a... Crock of dials? Oh, 
Oh, look, a human. What manner of shop is this? It's a toy shop. I make the finest automatonical toys and robots in all of Victorian London. But nobody wants to pay for toys anymore. Yes. At your service. Is that an automatonic boy? He's a robotic manservant. Understands everything you tell it to do. His mechanism is missing some components. The mechanical innards are all missing. I had to sell them for scrap. You won't find such complicated apparatus just lying around. It's not going to work unless you have all the components, is it? <laughs> What a swell job! Will these help? It's alive! As good as new! Do you want to take him for a test walk? Just be careful with him. That's the most complex piece of engineering! A cyborg sidekick? Ridiculous. Off you go, treacle teetering. You, sir, stop right there! What kind of man are you? Oh, I've been caked in treacle. I can't see. Blind, I'm blind. Officer down. Molesting police officers isn't nice, but now we can sneak surreptitiously by. Quick, sir. Quickly, get on the train! Next stop, Wretchedly Hall. Gavin, wretchedly. It's miles from anywhere. No one will find us now. It's getting late. We should make our way to Wretchedly Hall as soon as possible. What a delightful village. Ew, mind your step, Gavin. It's very cold outside. May we come in? This tin cup makes the ale taste funny. That's not a cup's fault. Hello, sir. I like your hat. Edwin Gray. Beast hunter, vampire slayer, etc. Quite a resume. What brings you to these parts? Have you heard of the thing that haunts the malls? No? Well, I intend to kill it anyway. I am used to the finer things in life, and I would hardly describe mouldy cheese as fine. Take it away! Mm, this cheese is soft and mouldy. Oh, he has a face like an angry satchel. The name's Doug. I'm a bounty hunter. Ain't nothing good about me. Ooh, bounty hunting. That sounds nice. I travel the world, hunting down things. 
There's something lurking on those moors, and I'm going to be the one to catch it. What an impressive key. This, this is my special bounty hunting key. Can open any lock. You want to hold it? Go on. Try and touch my key. Say cheese. You cheesed my key. Well, I'll be damned. Don't look so cheesed off. You got something wrong with you, mister. I'd best brie off. Hmm, you seem familiar. You? What on earth are you doing here? I am an entirely innocent traveller, just out explorating the countryside. I can't talk now. Someone may see. I've left you a message in the toilet. I'm just popping to the lavatory, Gavin. Shan't be long. Ooh, it's rather chilly in here. One should always wash your hands when you go to the toilet. Ha! Something is written on it. <gasps> Secret message. Meet me under the apple tree. That mysterious stranger has gone. He's left behind a tiny bucket. It's got a hole in the bottom. If you put anything in this broken pail, it would just run away. Here. What's the meaning of all this? Who are you, sir? It's me, Emelina. Emelina? What are you doing here? And why are you in disguise? I'm currently investigating some mysterious happenings on the moors. But that's not important right now. More pressingly, what are you doing out here in the countryside, Bertram? Oh, Emelina, I got arrested for a murdering I did not commit. Ah, yes. I did hear something about that. It wasn't you, was it, Bertram? It certainly was not, Emelina. How could you think such a thing? Of course, but I had to ask. Sometimes people do some crazy things for love. It, what was that? Nothing. Tell me exactly what happened. Well, the day started much like any other. You can skip on a little bit. Oh, pardon me. And as I was leaving Mrs. Dullsworth's house, I saw Jeff the murderer standing over the body of a flower seller. Before I had time to react, he ran off and leapt somewhat incredulously over an impossibly high wall. Then Sherlock turned up and arrested me. I suppose I was standing over a dead body with red ink stains on my hands, and it may have looked slightly suspicious. But it wasn't me, Emelina. I promise. Hmm, near the Dullsworth estate, you say? I'm sure Mrs. Dullsworth would have caught it all on her cameras. But why hasn't she told anyone? We need to prove your innocence. Yes, that would be nice. Maybe I can hack into her CCTV system remotely. Fly, Nathaniel, fly! Hold on one moment. Shouldn't take too long. Ah, here it comes now. Look, Bertram, photomographs of the murdering. And here is one of you and Jeff. It wasn't you at all, Bertram. Here is your proof, Mr. Fiddle. No one will disbelieve you now. Oh, Emma! How can I ever repay you? You should head back to London as soon as you can to clear your name. And then you can catch that dastardly Jeff the murderer yourself. I would love to come with you, but I have some unfinished business here to attend to. I'll tell you all about it one day. Mind how you go. There are some strange goings on out here on the moors. And watch out for Lord Wretchedly. I've heard some rather peculiar stories about him.
So long, Mr. Fiddle. A forsaken plank. Never let good wood go to waste, eh? And luckily, it just fits in my pocket. Little Waxsmith, look! I have fashioned a seesaw for you to play on! Look, Father! I'm a marsh hopper! Look at Little Waxsmith go! Whee! I'm flying! You can plank me later! <laughs> Cora, look at that. Those flames will melt anything now. At last, little waxsmith has proven useful. It's melting! It's melting! It's full of molten metal, just waiting to be poured into a mold. A makeshift skeleton key. What's that over there? Hello, mate. Help poor Magwidge out, would ya? I seem to be all tangled up in all these old manacles and I can't seem to get them off. They're terribly uncomfortable. An escaped convict! That's very perceptive of you. But I'm not a bad man. I was arrested for stealing a loaf of bread to feed me family. That ain't such a crime, is it? Admittedly, I did stuff the baker in a barrel and push him down the hill. But it was in a fit of anger, and I truly regret it now. And biting the judge, that was a mistake too. But I'm a reformed character now. If you help me out of these rusty old manacles, I'll help you across the swamp. You won't get across the swamp without my help. Ooh, thank you, sir. That is much better. And now I'm free to murder ya! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, very funny. I bet you regularly have everyone in stitches. I'm trying to get to Wretchedly Hall, but the way seems quite misleading. You ain't gonna make it through the swamp of sadfulness without a map. Lucky for you. I've got one right here. Feast your eyes on this. All you have to do is follow the path on my tattoo. Be careful though, straight from the path and it's curtains for you. I've got it done in prison to make crossing the swamp easy. Now you take care, sir, and don't tell anyone about old Magwitch. Or I'll tear your heart out and eat it. A little pony! Ew! It's all slimy! What a curiously doleful beast! That there is a swamp pony. Or bug blooder as we call them. Also known as a mud trudger. They are as at home in the mud as out of it. Looks like it is pining for the swamp. They love frolicking in the swamp. Can cross it with their eyes closed. Fit 
looks like a sock. Come on, my little pony. Off you clop. I've started a chain reaction. Look at it go. Quick, Gavin, follow that pony. Welcome to Wretchedly Hall. <laughs> enter, enter. Come dry your bones by my hearth, so to speak. Thank you for your hospitableness, Lord Wretchedly. Oh, not at all, not at all. I'm glad of the company. We seldom get visitors anymore. Since Lady Wretchedly went mad and all the servants disappeared, I have so few people to talk to. My only companion these past few months has been Professor Scuttleworth. And I have a feeling he won't be round much longer. <laughs> but where are my manners? You haven't come all this way to listen to me whiffle on. Lord Arthwipe has told me all about your situation. He has? But do not fret. I know how these things can happen. We all have our dark sides, don't we? I don't know what Lord Arthwipe has told you, but I am quite innocent. And now I have the proof to prove it. Oh, really? Indeed. Tomorrow we shall return to London and find out who this Jeff the murderer is once and for all. Why, of course you shall, of course. But you must be weary. Tonight you must rest. Allow me to show you to your room. Feel free to treat Wretchedly Hall as your own during your stay. You may go whither and hither, anywhere you please, except for the attic. Don't ever go in the attic. Here is your chamber. I trust it will be to your satisfaction. Here we are, a nice warm bed for you. Now you two just rest up. Oh, if you hear any noises during the night, it will just be the rats in the walls. Did you hear that? A sort of dreadful scratching. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> I am rather sleepy. Ooh, I am suddenly overcome with tiredness. Oh, good morning. You're finally awake. I showed your manservant to the kitchen. He's making tea for you. Well, I'd best be off. I have a rather busy day planned. Stay as long as you want. I don't mind. Thank you, your lordship. But we must get back to London as soon as we can. It's a lovely place. People often find it hard to leave. Gavin, did you clean my jacket? My pockets are empty. It was not me, sir. The photographs! They've vanished! Where have they gone? 
We have a thing in Peru. Never trust a fox that is always smiling. Something strange is going on here, Gavin. Come on, Gavin. Let's get to the bottom of Wretchley Hall's mysteries. So many bugs. Professor Scuttleworth certainly has an affinity with insects. Somebody has been eating a lot of jam. Look at all those empty jars. Oh, no one can hear me. I may as well take one. Oh, I've got sticky fingers. What on earth is this? Lord Wretchedly, what are you doing? Ah, you caught me sending food to... nobody. There's nobody in the attic. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> uh, I'm not sending food to the attic. <laughs> There's nothing in there. Excuse me, I have some important business to attend to. Professor Scuttleworth won't get all plump and juicy on his own. You've come at a most auspicious time. Only once every two hundred years are the planets aligned in such a way. But I have so much still to prepare. Wretchedly's extravagant champagne. They seem very volatile. Oop, oops, I, I prematurely uncorked one. Careful, sir. You nearly had my eye out. Lord Wretchedly will not be happy. A good cork is hard to find. I wonder where this goes. Look, Gavin, I'm dinner. You look delicious, sir. Yes. Hoist me up, Gavin. Who are you, and why are you locked in the attic? I am Lady Wretchedly. And I should be asking, who exactly are you? I'm Bertram Fiddle, leading Victorian explorator. Are you indeed? Have you come to rescue me, Mr. Fiddle? But Lord Wretchedly said you were mad. Mad? Of course I'm mad! The demented fool locked me in the attic because I wouldn't stand for his meddling with the other worlds. Oh, I see. This is awkward. Find the key, Mr. Fiddle. If I know Lord Wretchedly, and I do, he will have hidden it in a vase. A red one, no doubt, as that is his favourite colour. He is constantly moving things and changing his mind. Things are always in the last place you look. What's in this vase? Nothing. Look at all these creatures. Lord Wretchedly must be a fanatical trophy hunter. 
This is a remarkable specimen, a bolt cutter beetle from South America. It has incredibly strong mandibles. They can bite through almost anything. Oh, lovely, some company. How oh, delightful. Pleased to meet you. I'm Bertram Fiddle, leading Victorian explorator. Professor Scuttleworth, I presume? Lord Wretchedly mentioned you last night. What brings you to Wretchedly Hall? Oh, Lord Wretchedly is a compelling host. He invited me to study his fascinating specimens of insects. He's got some truly unique varieties in his collection. It's such a magnificent house, I don't think I could ever leave. I don't recall how long I've been here. This is some suspiciously delicious grub. I can't help myself. The more I eat, the more he brings. It's almost as if he's fattening me up for something. Oh, oh lovely plumage. Have you seen Lord Wretchedly? My bowl of blancmange is almost empty. Ah, so nice to see you all getting along. I hope the professor has been saying nice things about me. Here you are, professor. More blancmange. Make sure you eat it all up. Yes, yes, eat, eat. It won't be long now. Enjoying the blamange, Professor? <laughs> That's right. Yummy, yummy in your tummy. <laughs> What's this? Ah, what a dreadfully slimy little thing. Why, now I have goop all over my hands. Now, whatever I touch will no doubt get smeared in this glowing substance, too. How inconvenient. What's in this vase? This vase is empty. What's in this vase? Aha! A key! That tapestry looks rather tattered. <gasps> A crafty stairway! I think it leads to the attic. A small locked door. I can hear creaking from inside. Answers lie on the other side of that door. Well done, Mr. Fiddle. I shall see you downstairs. And now to find Lord Wretchedly. We can't stay here any longer, Gavin. We must find a way back to London. We have a saying in Peru, where there is a will, there is a well. Glowing handprints. Lord Wretchedly's handkerchief. Why is it next to this seemingly solid wall? Gasp! Is that a book of the dead? Oh, dark secrets lie within its pages, Gavin. Apparently it contains ancient information on summoning and defeating demons. It's said that those who read too much are sent mad. <gasps> My photomographs! At last! Now we can leave this place. Think 
Think, Bertram, think! Hmm, this is a conundrum! Almost got it! The mystery of Wretchedly Hall is starting to uncurl. Oh my! What sort of place is this? There are ancient powers at work here, Gavin. Lord Wretchedly, what are you doing? What are you doing in here? How did you find my secret passage? I wormed it out. Its scream is worse than its bite. Mm. Kevin, build a bramble barrier. What strong and sturdy wool! It's as strong as steel! That swamp is nauseating! We should find an alternative way back! We could make a shortcut, sir. Yes. Powerful fleece. I can feel its vitality. Oh, this will make a good fine yarn. Take it, my dear, and may it bring you good luck. Got it! I see dead beetles!
Ah, got it. It's in excellent condition. Obviously part of a speedy method of transportation. At your service. Oh, you've crashed Lord Richardley's dolphin, Gavin. I didn't do it on porpoise, sir. Lord Richardley will be enraged if he sees this. We must hide it somewhere out of sight. Quick, take it to my room, Gavin. At your service. Oh, this dolphin is a lot lighter than it looks. We have a saying in Peru, a dolphin always knows the way home. You are full of hot air sometimes, Gavin. Hmm. Quick, take it to my room, Gavin. Of course, Mr. Fidel. If he catches us with his prized dolphin, we will have to beat a hasty retreat. At your service. Yes. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. I can still see it, and it's quite whiffy. What shall we do with this dolphin? It's attracting pigeons. Hmm. That's got it. Of course, Mr. Fidel. How swell! It's ballooning! By Jove, Gavin! This could be our ticket back to London town! It's Floating! A blubbery blimp with a delightful dolphin dirigible. But we need pedals. We have a saying in Peru. An eagle only flies when it is ready. Aha! The propeller is in place. I've manufactured an extraordinary propulsion mechanism. Hmm, there is a storm coming. This is a particularly powerful storm. We can't take off in this weather.
Hmm, a struggle has happened here. Professor Scuttleworth must have been dragged away. His elasticated undergarments have come off. I'll just take these for, um, evidence. Alkin Satanish Hogoth Ragador Sitarak Vishanti Ashanti Kalima Malima Kalimari Om Bom Shivai Om Bom Shivai Om Bom Shivai etc. Yes! Yes, it's here. I've finally done it. Not much longer now. Oh, good grief! What is that thing? That, my good man, is one of the four great demons the mad monk Alfrazad wrote about. And I, Rodchester wretchedly, have summoned it here so that I may kill it. You are completely out of your mind. There you are, Rodchester. Stop that loathsome incanting at once. Margarina, my flower, uh, how did you get in here? Never you mind, you sniveling little worm. Come with me. We have much to discuss. But, uh, my dear, the portal, it's still open? I, I need to defeat the demon before it destroys uh, mankind. This is most unfair, Margarina. Only I have read the secrets of the creatures from beyond the beyond. What manner of foul beast is this? We must send it back to whatever unholy place it came from, Gavin. But how do we defeat such an abominable creature? We have a saying in Peru, even a mouse may kill a lion if he knows where to buy it. This is not the time for riddles, Gavin. <laughs> fashioned a powerful, elasticated nickerpult. It looks rather angry. This is our Tony Hope. Use the frog, sir. Yes. Gavin, pull! <laughs> we did it, Gavin! We defeated the beast! It's a miracle! It is a miracle? It's a pair of elasticated undergarments attached to a goat head staff miracle, sir. Help me! Help me! Help me! I'm far too intelligent to die like this. We must get away from this accursed place. Let us leave Gavin to the dolphin. And now, for a triumphant return!
goodness, that was a close one. Lucky that steeple broke our fall. We are back in London, safe and sound. Indeed, Gavin. And now we must clear my name and get back to catching that despicable Jeff. Well, 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 if it isn't Bertram the murderer. Now I'm going to arrest you for crashing an unlicensed fish into a public building, as well as murder. Wait just one minute, Sherlock. Firstly, a dolphin is not a fish. It's a mammal. And secondly, I am not, nor never have been, Jeff the murderer. And I have proof. Proof? What proof? See, Sherlock, I told you it wasn't Bertram. Why do you never listen to me? Oh, I see. Well, this may prove you aren't the murderer. But you are still no closer to finding that fiendish fellow. It looks like he's set to go down in history as the greatest criminal mastermind ever. Unless I catch him first. Unfortunately for you, Sherlock, it shall be I whom thwarts this dastardly villain. Don't make me laugh, Fiddle. You haven't got a chance. Why, if Jeff the murderer was standing here right now, you wouldn't even notice. I've spent years perfecting the art of sleuthing. I am synonymous with it. They even write stories about how good I am. I'm reasonably confident that one day someone will make up stories about me too. In the future, they are probably going to make some kind of moving picture show about me. <laughs> I bet no one's going to want to pay to see you and your piffling little adventures. I wouldn't be so sure, Sherlock. I wouldn't be so sure. Come on, Watson. I'm bored with these clowns. I want to go look at the freak show. <sighs> yes, Sherlock. Bertram, find Sherlock's secret informant. He's a rumor monger named Mr. Snitcher. He might be rather tricky to find. All I know is Sherlock said he's got a face like a bulldog sucking a lemon. Good luck, Bertram. Watson, hurry up! Coming, Sherlock. Please do take a seat. Oh, not now. Curses. I should never have run out of magnesium. Dr. Jekyll, are you all right? Please go. I need the anti-potion. Ooh, a current bun. Whoa! An exotic emporium! Hello, wise sir! I am Bertram Fiddle, leading Victorian explorator! And I am in pursuit of London's most elusive serial killer, Jeff the Murderer! I'm Bob. Uh, this is my shop. Go ahead, mister. Look around. I'll be with you in a minute. I need to get this box open. Oh, is that an infamous Chinese bamboozle box? Only after years of mindful self-discipline will one reach the levels of concentration needed to open it. Nah, that's my lunchbox. The lid is stuck. Oh my! Look at the size of them now! They're massive! Thank you for your lemon aid. Take one, you know you want to. A veritable rogue's alley. I have a feeling this is where we will find the mysterious Snitra. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's you! You are Sherlock Snitcher! Shh, keep it down. I don't want everyone to know. I shan't tell if you provide me with the information I seek. I'm looking for the dastardly villain known as Jeff the Murderer. Do you know of his whereverabouts? I happen to know Jeff spends his evenings playing cards in the victim's end. You won't find a more wretched pub full of villainy and scum. It's through there and under the bridge. But don't mention my name or I'm done for. Never fear. Your secret is safe with me, Mr. Snitcher. What a dank and fishy underpassage. There is something hiding in the murk. Hold on there, young'un. You don't just take a fisherman's boat. Rules of the sea. If you want a row, a gift you must bestow. A gift? Like what? I know. Something appropriate. Tusk, tusk. You can't just get in a man's boat. The freak show. It seems dreadfully quiet. Marvel said, one day I will run a freak show. He's a very nice cat. He often gives me current puns. Oh, shush your twunk, you silly man. He is too witless to remember all the bad things Marvo has done to him. Do you like current puns? I do so love a good current pun. I'm afraid I've forgotten what we were talking about. Here you go, sir. A lovely currenty bun. Oh, my favourite. How did you know? I'm sure he won't miss this now. Joanna von Grimm, the Nightingale of Dreary Lane. Oh, I'm a very big fan. Bertram Fiddle, at your service. Bertram Fiddle. That name sounds familiar. I think Algernon may have mentioned you. Do you, perchance, work at the soap factory? I do, uh, but it is merely a temporary position. I am more of a classically trained adventurer. Ah, oh, yes, I recall now. He told me how awful you were at your job, and he was only keeping you in employment because he knew you needed the money. He is a very sweet and kind man. Perhaps too kind. Do you know Mr. Dalsworth well, then? We were going to run away and be together forever. But Marvo found out and locked me up because he wants to get his tiny, filthy paws on the deeds to the soap factory. I am little more than a singing canary to him. Take this locket. Maybe it will help somehow. Yes. No, oh, look at him now. Say bananas. Oh, excellent. This will no doubt make wonderful news. Giant monkey, very happy to be ridiculed by strangers, etc. Well, back to the news quarters for me.
In his hurry to scurry back to the evening burble, he has left some powder. This may prove particularly useful. I'll pick it up, just in case. And now to catch a mudlark. I saw it first. Find his keepers, mister. Mechanical gravification device. Right then, Gavin, how does this thing work? Just twiddle the knobs until you grab something, sir. Oh, blimey! Whoa! Watch what you're grabbing! To whomever may find this letter. Help! Discovered a lost world in the middle of the Earth. Being held captive by a race of telepathic flying reptiles. McClunk has gone mad. If you read this, send assistance. Yours extremely anxiously, Dr. Peneva Fretling. Oh my goodness! What an exquisite bottle! Oh, yar! I'll trade you a go in me boat for that. But I'm warning ye, it's not safe to go out there. Never fear, Gavin and I paddled the Amazon in a scooped out giant condor egg. I think we can manage a row in your little boat. Someone has ransacked Mr. Dalsworth's office. Oh, wait, that was me. There is nothing of use in here. This must be how he sneaks in and out without anyone noticing. Mr. Dalsworth is slipperier than he looks. What does Mr. Dalsworth need a secret tunnel for? He's got clean away! What could he possibly be up to?
Transformatization. Yes, yes. I, uh, thank you for your help. I don't know what came over me. Dr. Jekyll, at your service. I am deeply indebted to you. Recently, the side effects to my little, uh, experiments have been getting worse. Sometimes I can barely control myself, and I have such important work to do. I am on the verge of a medical breakthrough. Oh, that's nice. Nice? I'll say, soon I will be able to bring the dead back to life. Imagine that. Corpses living and walking amongst us. Um, are you sure that's a wise idea? Of course, I will be proclaimed a genius. No one will dare say I am mad then. <laughs> What's this? Oh, that. Uh, that's where I get my medical specimens from. It leads to the victim's end. A jolly little drinking establishment. It's where I get all my subjects from. The victim's end, you say? May I? Of course. Climb up my chute if you like. But you are going to get covered in all sorts of blood and ghastly things. Follow me, Gavin. I have a feeling we are at last closing in on Jeff. Oh, mind where you put your hands, Gavin. There's all sorts in here. Good day, sir. I ain't seen you around here before. Are you sure you was the wrong one? Oh, yes. They call me, um, uh, Bertram Gristle. I'm as mean as a worm. Ah, then welcome to the victim's end. What'll it be? I'll have a cup of tea. No milk. We've got beer or gin or get out of my pub. I'm looking for a rather shadowy figure known only as Jeff the Murderer. By a careful process of highly intelligent investigative deduction, I have tracked him across Victorian London, and now have reason to believe he may be hiding out somewhere in this very pub. Jeff the murderer, you say? Yeah, everybody knows Jeff. There he is, playing cards with Marvo and old Soapy Nuts. Mr. Charlesworth, in here? I don't understand how you've won again. Another game, Mr. Dullsworth? But Marvel, all I've left are the deeds to the soap factory. You don't want to see your little singing canary again, don't you? Just let Joanna go, Marvel. We're in love. Then let's play again. Winner takes all. Yes, Marvel. Whatever you say, Marvel. Perfect. Stop this diabolical dishonesty at once. Look into my eyes. You cannot mesmerize me. I am... What's that, Marvo? You are in complete control? Yes, Marvo. Whatever you say, Marvo. What's wrong? Cat got your tongue? <laughs> Guess I'm a cat. You cannot stop me. I can control your feeble mind at whim. What have you got in your pockets? Aha! Extravagant champagne, my favorite. Let's celebrate my impending victory. Come closer and pour me a glass. Here you go, Marvo. Time for some champagne! Aha! Your power's a weak old cat! Meow! My eyes! I cannot see! It burns! It burns!
Oh, it's you. What are you doing here? What happened? Well, I effortlessly defeated Marvo and foiled his evil plot, freeing you, Joanna, and the rest of Victorian London from his pernicious mind grasp. Oh, thank you, Mr. Fiddle. They were right. You are a fine adventurer. Now Joanna and I can be together forever. And as for you, Jeff, now that you are free from Marvo's mind grip, will you stop all these dreadful murderings? What? I was never hypnotized. <laughs> I just love killing things. What can I say? I'm a wrong un. <laughs> you never stop me from doing me murderings. <gasps> Gasp! I shall go down in history as London's most elusive serial killer. We have you cornered, Jeff. You have nowhere to run. This is surely the end of this whole dreadly business. You've done a good job to get this far, but you'll never catch me. <laughs> I'm a slipperier than a greasy eel. And now it's time to make like a duck and dive. ta -cha. Oh, Gavin, is this the end of Jeff the Murderer? Is our adventure over? I guess we will never truly know. Wait, sir, what is that coming out of the water? My goodness, will this nightmare never end? Oh, oh! Giant crab! Go blow me! No! My spleen! Oh! Oh no! He's got me cleaning off! Oh! oh. Hey, my! What a crabby way to go! Got eaten by a giant crab! <laughs> you must be like the third or fourth best adventurer in here now. What are you going to do now you're back in the club? I hadn't really thought of it. I bet you're feeling pretty pleased with yourself, Fiddle, aren't you? Well, I did hunt down London's most elusive serial killer and thwart the sinister plot of a hypno-cat. I'd say that was a pretty good adventure. But that still doesn't make you as distinguished as me. I'm always going to be the most respected detective in Victorian London. What about the wager, Sherlock? What are you talking about, Watson? You said you'd wear a lady's dress and dance the trifling gallop around Lambeth if Bertram could catch Jeff before you. I hardly think being caught by a giant crab counts. That wager is non-binding. Now, now, Holmesy. A wager is a wager. Bertram thwarted Jeff the murderer. Admit it, Holmes. Ah, there you are, Bertram. Congratulations on putting an end to Jeff Is at that last. a woman? But Bertram, I have some terrible news. Something peculiar has started happening by the turnip factory. I have a feeling another adventure is about to begin. Blimey, 